Guys, good morning to 3D Site Prep. We're going to have a look quickly here at importing and exporting out CAD files um, out of a Trimble Business Center. I'm going to just go here to New, File New, go US Survey Feeds, hit OK. I'm just going to start again so I can go from scratch. We're going to go here to wherever your file is. Now remember with Trimble Business Center you can bring in multiple extensions. You can also bring in a PRO file from TerraModel, DWG, DGNs, you know, there is a DXF, or whatever, you can bring it in. What I'm going to do here is, we're going to start with a DWG file. I just want to show you the basics. We're going to come and just hold it, drag it, and drop it. There it brings in the file. What we're going to do is, I'll just show you a quick thing here, if you guys are bringing in a 3D surface and you haven't made one but you have the, the 2D surface in there we can go, come up over here to uh, surface create a surface give it a name surface classification I just got mine as design then over here members to form the surface I normally go options and I go select by layer. I'm going to come over here to DTM final, select that, hit close, and hit OK. You'll see it's generating a surface here. There she is. When we come over here to view, go new 3D view. And you'll see there's your 3D surface. Another thing to look at too is if we go back to View tab, go down to 3D View Settings. You want to go over here and set your vertical exaggeration. I normally just have mine on four. It's pretty much a preference or whatever you want. This is for your rotation. What I'm doing is I'm holding the control button down on the keyboard and taking my mouse, the middle scroll button, and moving that to the left and right. You'll notice how we can rotate it automatically up and down as well. I'm coming over here and use this You're for your rotation whatever you're looking for to set it at. And there's your 3D surface. Close that out. Let's just put the 3D surface off for now. What we're going to do is go back to the plan view. It has all your 2D line work. Now, if you're just importing, exporting out a CAD file, you're looking to just, you know, save it as a as a different extension or an earlier um, uh, copy of a uh, AutoCAD you know we we'll go here to file export have it on I have it on CAD DWG exporter um, hit this pick box here yeah, and the file name this will take you to wherever you want to save the file. And we'll go over here and call it TDC Site Export. Options here. You can either go and select by layers or select all. What I'm going to do is over here, I'm just going to go and in this pick box here for data, select it by window. DWG here, uh, you can have it within whatever extension you want 2007, 2004, whatever on 2010. Export blocks. Export as a block. No, I don't want to do that. Export points. No. US feet. You can change it over here to whatever you're looking to change it. 
in your measurement units and then what I do is I say export and that's it you've exported out your file and that way you can go and bring it into another if you're either bringing it into a different type of uh, software you know or you're just looking at export out layers you know always bring that file and turn all the layers off that you don't want you know or if you're looking to just bring them all in and out you can just select them all on and export it out um, it's really a preference of what you're looking to do but I just want to make this quick video guys hope this helps and uh, if you need more information go check out our website 3dsideprep.com email me for any questions or modeling um, advice hope to see you guys soon